Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We're going to discuss about the quick check multiple choice. This is the chapter 20. This is the book of principles of economics. The chapter is about income inequality and poverty. So the first question says, in the United States, the poorest fifth of the population earns about percent of all income, while the richest fifth earns about percent. Then we need to have a look here to the table that we saw throughout this chapter. Remember that this has the concentration of the population when you divide them in five groups. Then when you're talking about five groups it's because here you have the 20th uh, percent, so division of the annual growth. If you have any questions, you can go back to the video where we explained that. Basically, we have here that these, the bottom fifth, people that belong this kind of money, this amount of money, they have in total 3.8% of the total income. Then, on the other side, the top fifth, so uh, the 20% the higher amount of money, they have in total 48.9%. So it's just you having a look here about which could be the number which approaches more to these numbers of the table. So the first one we have here A, 2 and 65. So 2, this should be more uh, close to 4 and this close to 4, 49. The other one 4, this one and 45 and then we have 10, 35 and 15, 25. So definitely the closest one should be this one, 4 and 45. Second one says, when income inequality is compared across countries, one finds the United States. So here we have the table that we had a look throughout the, the chapter, where uh, we have here in the x axis we have the countries, and then in the y axis we have the inequality measures. So here, the closer you are to zero, is because you are more equal, right? Here is a ratio between the, the here we have the fifth top and then in the denominator you have the bottom fifth, right? So then the ratio higher, it, it implies or it says that you are in a more inequality country. Then you have here, this should be 20.2, uh, so South Africa. And then United States, we can locate here with 8.5. Then is one of the most equal nations in the world. What I would say that we should be, if you are like this in the, between the, the five most important ones. The other one is one um, of the least equal uh, nations in the world. Well, um, this should be if we fly here and there in these last ones. So maybe it's not a case. Then has more equality than most advanced nations, but less equality than many developing countries. Yeah, I would say that it's okay because it has more equality than most uh, advanced countries, but less equality uh, than many developing countries. And then has less equality than most advanced questions the most advanced nations but more equality than many developing countries so this should be something like that because that has less equality to this one but then more than that one so definitely we are more with the right has less equality than most advanced nations but more equality than many developing countries uh, utilitarian believes that the redistribution of income from the rich to the poor is worthwhile as long as the worst of members of society benefit from it, those contributing to the system are in favor of it, each person's income after taxes and transfers reflects his marginal product or distortionary effect on work incentives is not too large. So. The idea of the utilitarianism is could be the intervention of the government until certain point. This certain point, it was identified as the example that we saw throughout a book, throughout um, a leak in a bullet. 
uh, sorry in, in a in just in a in a in a basket so then if you have this hole higher between crossing or taking one uh, water from one place to another one it means that you are wasting too much of money or efficiency when you are intervening the market so then you should be on to a certain point where you cannot affect or you don't um, make some affectation to incentives then it should be more this one the distortionary effect on work incentives is not too large I mean it should be I can face it in order to make everyone better in terms of utility because I'm at least compensating the marginal effect to the guy or to the group that I'm taking out money in order to put these resources to the to the poverty to the necessities one so that's the case Rawls thought experiment of the original position behind the veil of ignorance is meant to draw attention to the fact that most of the poor do not know to find better jobs and escape poverty the station of life each of us was born into is largely a matter of luck the rich have so much money that they don't know how to spend it all outcomes are different only if everyone begins with equal opportunity so Rawls what he tried to say throughout his uh, book is like I don't want that everyone has the same however government and the rules inside society should guarantee that all of them they have the same possibilities when I guarantee that I can say that this is an efficient result and then the choose to be poor is not because there is another exit it's just because you had all the tools but you didn't want to go and get better results okay then a negative income tax is a policy under which a individuals with low income get transferred from the government the government raises tax revenue without distorting incentives everyone pay less than under a conventional income tax some taxpayers are on the wrong side of the Laffer curve so the idea is like an individual with low income get transferred from the government why because let's have this a simple equation imagine that this is the rule of the fiscal policy in a country that the tax owned should be the one third of the income minus one thousand uh, sorry ten thousand then if you if you earn sixty thousand then should be sixty thousand over three twenty thousand minus ten ten thousand then if you earn ninety thousand it should be ninety over three it should be thirty minus ten it should be twenty however if you earn thirty thousand dollars then you get zero or oh, you need you need to pay zero and then if you have fifteen you receive five thousand so then the idea is like individuals with low income get transferred from the government that actually they come from the other um, raise of money if the benefits from an anti-poverty program are phased out as an individual's income increases then the program will will encourage greater work effort from the poor lead to an excess supply of labor among unskilled workers increase the effective marginal tax rates that the poor face cost the government more than a program benefits uh, everyone the idea is like this uh when when you have benefits from the poverty program that are phased out as an individual's income increases the point is like it costs the government more than a program that benefits everyone because however is different when you have okay from this amount to the other one it fades out automatically right but when you have okay you're going to have 
not 80% of subsidy but 60% but you still have the benefit the problem that this will cost more right so this could more than a program that benefits everyone so that this should be more to the D part okay I guess that that was all for today and see you next video bye bye